Welcome back, folks. I had a few comments about this oil refinery here that if I connected here, then it would reach. So let's give that a quick shot, even though I think I'm gonna put a train line up here. It's just more efficient. And then it can also bring back the fuel here, sail it back over and we can deliver it to Murrieta, Santa Rosa, and I think that was one more town, uh, Hylia. So yeah, and Topeka perhaps even. So let's let's try that. Let's quickly give this a go. Uh, so road, what here? Oh, we need money. But we have we paid some of the money. Oh, well, let's just borrow a million here so we have a bit to work with. All right, so we can have this going here, and then there's too much slope here. Uh, but we could perhaps connect to there and then connect over there. So yeah, that would have been doable. That is my mistake that I didn't think of that. Uh, let's try building it and see, does this now reach that? Yes, it does. So that would have taken that uh, truck line out. Okay, fair point, fair point guys. All right. So I think what we'll do today is hook this up with a train line instead because it's just more efficient, I think. So we'll bulldoze all this. We'll bulldoze this. We will kill this line. Uh, we need to need to do the line or the vehicles first. Uh, El Paso crude oil trucking. And we need to sell you. All right. And then we can go to the land to this one and we can say delete line. So that's a start. Now we are going to need to borrow some more money for this, I think. But let's take a look at trains here. Uh, we want buildings. We want the curved station, I think. Uh, no bridge. Uh, oh, this is... Is this passenger only? It's passenger only, isn't it? Uh, let's just see. Yeah, it is. It's passenger only. That kind of sucks. Mm. Uh, let's just do cargo. Yeah, we just have... The standard okay and I want at least two tracks here I think I I'm probably gonna want more uh, hmm how the heck do we get this in here Maybe we don't make it a terminus. And we do something like this. It catches both, I think. It should, maybe. Hmm. Let's just try something. Uh, it is catching both up there. So. Let's do that. Let's 
expensive because of this. Um, hmm. And then we need to come around quite quickly and come up here, but we need a station up here, of course. So... Hmm. I think we'll do... Terminus here with just one track. Really? We'll turn it around. We need to connect here. Let's connect there. So are you connected? No, we just but we just need a little road, then that's fine. Okay. Let's lay some tracks. And we want the fastest one that we can get, which is third rail tracks with limited speed. 125 kilometers an hour. And I think this needs to be these two, two. So come up like that. Let's see, come over here. And then we're going to have to tunnel, I think. But that's okay. Uh, we probably need to come up a bit. Uh, no. No. No, not invisible bridge. That's for sure. T-beam. What does this look like? That's a bit too long. I want some pillars, but... I actually like the standard one, I think. This one is kind of nice. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, let's see. I need to be able to come under. I think something like that. Six hundred and twenty-three thousand. All right, we need to borrow more money already. Oh no, borrow. Uh, man, we won't be able to afford a train even. Uh, so another thing I got a comment about is that it would have been nice that if I started at a later date. So that you saw all the um, vehicles that I didn't get before. And I do agree with that. Uh, I maybe should have done that. Uh, but it's too late now. Uh, and I, I always just start in 1850 because it just seems right to me. Okay. Let's come through there. Let you up. We don't have the money for that yet. Let's see if we get it. Come on. We just don't have the money. Alright, uh, let's wait. Uh, let's just make sure that you are still getting oil. You're not. Why not? Okay, you have some oil over here. We're picking it up. But... You are not producing anymore, are you? Let's just see, 66. Hmm. 
No, it's not. So that means that our most profitable line will no longer be making money. Mm, let's see, suppliers, Juliet oil well. Let's just check here when this ship comes in. Will it arrive over here? No, it didn't. All right. In that case, uh, we're just going to pause real quick. And we are going to put this road in. Tick on at half speed or so. All right, are you producing again now? Yes, you are. Good. You're bringing in some. All right, so hopefully that means that our income will start picking up again. 112,000, you got it, good. Good, good, good. And you're bringing 52 over. You will be bringing 90. All right. But we are completely out of money. So this was an expensive little train line that I started making. Which I kind of knew, but I didn't know it would be that expensive. I did not know that it would be that expensive. Which isn't great. Well, now we're out of money again. I was going to hook the tracks up to the station, but... I guess that won't be happening right now. Do, 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 do. All right, you have 90, you have 90. There is more than 200 waiting, standing. Okay, we have a bit of money now. Let's lay some tracks. That costs 254,000. Jesus, Jesus. Uh, no money again. Alright, so while we wait for a bit of money to come in, let's take a quick look at our lines and see how they're doing. The ships are still doing okay, even though they took a bit of a hit there. Uh, the... El Paso to fuel to El Paso is doing okay. The lumber is doing quite nicely. The train is doing okay. It has 20 passengers on board, so that's nice. It'll bring in some money. And it will bring in some money. 153,000. Alright. Let's see how many people are waiting here. 12. And where's the train? It's on its way up. With two people waiting. We have eight people on board. Not great. Not great. They are turning a profit. All right, another ship coming in. Come on, man. <laughs> We're losing money right now. And over fist. Uh, 314,000 there. Hopefully, 
this doesn't continue. It should start picking up a little bit. Come on. 374,000 in debt. All right, 160 in debt, 153. And this is completely filled up, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Right, we have some workers arriving. Cool, cool. Are we going to start seeing a profit anytime? I really hope so. I really, really hope so. But I, it does look like it, does it? It doesn't look like it. Hmm. That kind of sucks. Kind of really, really sucks. We did take some income out from that little truck line there, but I think that was for the best. Hmm. Let's see, we're in the green here. Now we're not. Uh, he lost 157,000 without making any purchases. Ooh, we might be in trouble here. We might be in trouble here. All right. We're 414,000 in debt, and that's even though a train or a ship just came in. Hmm. Oh, we just went into the green and then we went into the red again. It seems like money is coming in, kinda. Come on. All right, ship coming in there. We're in the green. We are in the green for the period, not overall at all. Uh, what could we do to make a profit? Nothing really, at the moment, because we don't have any money to do anything with. We're in the red. And we are back in the green. No, we didn't get back in the green. But we are getting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. 3,000, 62,000, 98,000. Minus 132,000. Dang it. Come on. We need some dough. We really, really need some dough. All right, we're in the green again. And will we? No, we did not get past a hundred thousand there. All right, let's take a quick look at our town towns while we wait here. So Roseville is now the biggest, then El Paso, Topeka. I mean, we not delivering anything to Topeka, are we? Because down here, no, we're not. But Topeka's growing. Uh, Lubbock. It's down to fourth place. That started started as the lar largest town. Columbia, Bombay, Centennial, Mesquite. All right. So, oh, look at that. 
Mm, dang it. So 206,000 we lost in that period without spending any. This is not good. This is not good. 130, 207, 231, 241. All right. It's looking a little bit better, maybe. A little bit better, maybe. 98, 112, 115. Minus 90. The earnings is in the red, but once this train comes in, or this ship comes in, we should be in the green. Yep. But not down here. Not on the bottom line. Be sure not. Um, I think we're kind of getting there. I think we're kind of getting there. Uh, all right. 103, 121, 137, 73, 24, minus 54. All right, it's looking a little bit better, I think. Paso is getting a decent amount of fuel. Roseville is getting a decent amount of fuel. Hmm. Are we going to have to sell all this again to make this happen? So we don't have the expensives from this. I think we might. Ah, come on. Hmm. this is expensive to maintain and then we'll just have to save up so I was a little bit too eager there a little bit too eager and it's hard to get this without hitting a tree there we go. And then we'll destroy that as well. But we don't have those expenses. Okay. So, let's see. We had... 450,000. Uh, let's see, railroad, ma vehicle maintenance, track maintenance, and infrastructure maintenance. So this should go down quite a bit, which means that we'll start making money. That was a. Not a good $4 million investment that we made there, but it is what it is. We are in the green now. We are making money, so we simply couldn't afford having that maintenance. That, that, that maintenance killed our bottom line. That is pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy that just building those was enough to kill our profitability. Not sure how I feel about that. Feels a little bit precarious when profitability hinges on not building anything. <laughs> but once we would have, would have got the train going, then we would have been quite profitable. Again, very, very profitable.
Because then we could also kill this and just have this little line going and this line going. And just have the train going back and forth and the train would have made quite a bit of money. So let's see. Uh, so we only lost 26,000 in this period. And we are in the green in this period. So it's better. Yeah, so 104,000 we made during that period of time. Well, that's good. We don't have the ability to take out more loans. Which I suppose is fine for now. Uh, all we have to do is wait, really. So I think we'll cut this episode a little bit short. An experiment went wrong, uh, but we learned a lesson, and in between episodes I'll save up a bit of money uh, so that we can actually uh, build in the next one, because I feel like that's kind of important for the gameplay. <laughs> uh, wow, we have a lot of people waiting here. 14 people waiting there. Where's the train? It's there. We've got 11. And we have more passengers on the way. 17 plus the 4 that just went in. That's 21, I guess. So, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.